Welcome back to the news. A new study showed that most Americans don't know very much about the Hundred Years' War. So we, being also reporters, have prepared a short presentation illustrating the key points of the war. Enjoy. Thank you, Diego. When the last Capetian king died without a successor, England's Edward III claimed the right to the French throne as grandson of Philip IV. The war that Edward launched over the throne was continued on and off from 1337 to 1453 and became known as the Hundred Years' War. The war was fought between England and France primarily on French soil. One of the most prominent figures of the war was Joan of Arc, a French teenage peasant girl. On May 7, 1429, Joan rallied up a French army that defeated the English which were blockading the road to Orleans. The war was eventually won by the French in 1453. Despite its terrible cost in money, lives, and property, the war ultimately raised the power of the French monarch and led to a period of instability in England. Some consider that the end of the war also signifies the end of the Middle Ages because both intense religious devotion and the code of chivalry met their end. Back to you, Diego. Thank you for your report, Jose. It was very informative. Coming up next in sports, San Francisco is once again a town of champions as the 49ers win Super Bowl 47.